10 seconds for Canada to work with. Five seconds. Nice find down low to Nas Hillman. One, it, it mixes it up, but at two, it, it gives the coaches a chance to look at how effective that zone is, but how effective is Beck Cole from the three-point range? Potts driving hard at the hoop. It has the offense slowed up, Laurie. See if Tara Reid can do something about that. No, says Mercedes Russell. Do with the ball game. See, she sensed the same thing. She sensed they needed to bring something that was going to get this crowd going. And, and here is Jordan Canada. This outside flyers in defense. Doesn't matter. Tara Reid makes the three. Releasing Canada. Puts it behind her back. No. What a dime to Reed. No way. What a great pass. Eyes in the back of her head. Let's have another look at that one, Laurie. <laughs> Two possession ball game. Rochi got open on Canada. And nearly <laughs> missed on the lay in. Got there in the end. Canada. Looking for that entry pass. Will go herself. Jordan. Oh, Canada. Man. How has she made that? Foul call on Leilani Mitchell. Rose up over the top without some of their crucial guard depth. Christy Wallace, Monique Conti. So Blitz Arms makes the second, and that is an important free throw. Seven points the difference. Cole will let it fly, and the Melbourne Boomers have got it done in game one of the Michelle Tims Cup to the tune of seven points. What a performance from Chris Lucas's team, and they start 2-0 undefeated in the Signet WNBL season.